19, 20, and X marks the... When I get me hands on that plaid-coated scallywag, I'm going to rip off his waving arms and beat him to a briny pulp with him. What are you looking at? The secret to eternal life. Le spectre de Grand César! <laughs> Doesn't look like Elaine's in any immediate danger. Hopefully she won't commit any unforgivable atrocities before I finish enlarging my pox-curing sponge. Tide must be high. I can almost reach down and touch the well water. That's weird. This whole idol is under one of Crimp Digit's unbreakable glass bottles. That's weird. The trail didn't go anywhere. Jungle fireflies, nature's little spotlights. Those fireflies are so pretty, it almost makes you forget they spend half their lives as maggots. Hmm. The fireflies are attracted to the sugar water on the leg. Fascinating, and just a little nauseating. Bet that's the sacrificial altar of the jungle beast that Hemlock was rambling about. I don't know about mythical jungle beasts, but I always prefer my ritual sacrifices to be slathered in sugar water. Uh-oh. That altar reeks. It smells worse than the sofa bed after Elaine's mom has dropped by for a visit. <laughs> At last. <laughs> I've lost that she-devil. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Serves him right, though. Still, I'd better finish feeding the sponge before Elaine hurts someone I actually care about. Hmm. 
now that I know a little bit more about the Vakalians, it appears that we're nearing the end of the year of the fish and approaching the dawn of the year of the slightly bigger fish. I wonder who put this idol under glass and why? Looks like the old Vakalian wind control device has been set to suck again. But what's that tubing around its fingers all about? Looks like someone's been messing with the Vakalian wind control device. And by someone, I mean the Marquis de Singe. And by the Marquis de Singe, I mean the incredible pain in my fundament. Looks like someone's been... I wonder who put this idol under glass, and why? The mighty pirate hunter tracks his prey via his distinctive firefly attracting spool. <laughs> That's the legendary jungle beast of Flotsam Island? That poor little flesh-eating stink bomb looks like he's in a world of pain. Oh, look at that. The poor hideous flesh-eating plant is a smelly, rotting lion's paw caught in its teeth. Um, thorns. Hold still, little buddy. I'll get that nasty old hunk of meat out for- Yikes! What the- It's empty! Here, boy! That looks uncomfortable, but at least he's not snapping at me anymore. Don't worry, you freakish little abomination. Dr. Guybrush will make it all better. Gotcha! Phew! <laughs> that is by far the foulest thing I've ever smelled in all my years of pirating. And that's coming from a guy who's just spent a few days inside a giant manatee. That lion's paw stinks worse than my mother-in-law's neck folds. Come on, little sponge. Eat the nice, smelly anti-pasta. That's a good sponge. I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. You! Again! Hello, Treeport. A 
about this feat. What would... Can you tell me about the palate cleanser? Before the main course, the palate must be scalded clean by a powerful taste. Ooh, like grog? No, not at all like grog. 